Okay, we ready to go? Uh, we're very close. All right, Megan, right? Correct. So just give me a moment. I'm going to pull in your energy team. Let's see what they have for you. And um, I'll be right back. Okay, so really quickly, I heard two boys and a fire sign. Um, but when I look at your career, um, I feel like there is a woman overseer or a lady overseeing, maybe watching you. Um, I feel like this person has high hopes for you, but very little faith for some reason. Um, either way it goes, I feel like Connection and bond is here between you and this person, but fear exists. Um, intrepidation, fear. I don't know if I am giving you enough or if. Or if I am giving you too much. There's um questions here about balance but spirit wants me to tell you this lady likes you i don't know if there is okay let me let me say this cuz it's really confusing me okay. i don't know if there is some level of favoritism that she may have for you versus other people that might be suffocated or she feels like she needs to smother. But I feel like this person may stand off and look at you in particular as a star or the one. Um, top of the body goosebumps around the neck and face. I've never had that before. So maybe, um, which is the throat chakra. So maybe this person expresses themselves to you in Maybe off to the side and away from other people. They do have conversations about you with others, though. I get outside of the work environment. Um, this person, I get really values your input. Do you want to ask a specific question around this or around your work period? Um. So I guess I'm kind of in a slightly dead-end job, mm. um, and I guess I'm looking for maybe direction of where to go from there. I will tell you that right, right after I asked you if you want to ask a question, I got, I'm not going to let you go. So somebody here d doesn't want to see you leave. Um, they, they are not going to be an advocate for you doing something different. And if you decide, if you decide to do something different, I think that this happens for you down the line. I feel like though you might consider it a dead end job, some part of you is really loyal more to this person than to the work maybe. But I don't, I, I. I think that you might be here a couple more years before you decide to go somewhere else. But when I see you leaving, it's a floating away. So it's a gentle leave. It's not you pushed out or there's some sort of anger here. I feel like you easily transition from one thing into another. Whatever this opportunity that comes in for you, it comes, wow, they just said by way of what you're doing right now. Right side of the body goosebumps. This is definitely happening in your future. So I feel like someone comes in and introduces themselves and then introduces you to another opportunity. It's not their intention to take you away from what you're doing, but this other opportunity better fits. I get your skill set or I feel like paperwork or de degree or some sort of certification that you have. I feel like you can better be used in this other place. Oh shit, Megan, okay. When you, <laughs> when you get to this other place, um, first of all, you get the job flying colors, whatever this is, right? Okay. But you know too much. It, it makes um, the person who brings you in or the person who you 
report to, whatever, it makes them uncomfortable. They end up being replaced by you, and they know it. So you are going to face a bit of uncomfortableness, I get, for the first maybe three. This might last for as long as nine months. But you're going to take, like, your boss's job. Terrible person you are. <laughs> Oh my gosh, but you come in, whatever, whatever this, see the place where you are right now, it's important for you to stay because you're gaining something from them that you're going to use somewhere else that's going to like catapult a business or catapult a department. You come in and you're like, no, let me tell you a better way to do this. I know what I'm doing. I've done it like this before. You kind, you come in and you like reorganize something, you change it, and I'm getting the, the flow of the place completely changes. It causes for this department, whatever this is you're doing, to like grow, and now they put you in like the driver's seat because they don't trust anybody else to make decisions about this other thing.